We also have an update tonight on the recent rash of home invasions in the capital city. The latest happened on Lisbon Street over the weekend. It's one of five that have taken place in the last few weeks. Iowa News reporter Eric Halperin joins us now live in studio with what he's learned. Eric. Mike, like you said, there have now been at least five home invasions in the capital city since the middle of May. Police have not said all are connected, but new tonight, they tell me they are looking at the most recent one as possibly connected to one or more of the others. This is the home of the most recent home invasion that took place early Saturday morning, a house along Lisbon Street. Providence police say several armed and masked men broke into the home. A woman was robbed and so was her son. According to the police report, they pistol whipped him and took his watch and several other items. He also stated that he couldn't identify the suspects because they were wearing hoodies. It was at least the fifth home invasion in Providence since May 12th. One also happened on Myrtle Street on Friday morning around 1.30. Four to five males entered the house, tied up the occupants, and um, took some of their belongings. Major David LePayton talked with us about that incident hours after it happened on Friday. He also touched on the ones that had happened in previous weeks. Home invasions on their own are unusual. Before the weekend incident, other home invasions with some similarities happened on Gallatin Street, Hanover Street, Monticello Street, and the one LePayton was talking about on Myrtle Street. Police have not said all of those are connected, but Major LePayton tells me investigators are looking at the Lisbon Street invasion as possibly linked to one or more of the others. And LePayton says these home invasions are targeted. Again, these are all still under investigation. So far, no one has been charged in any of them. In studio, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.